For nearly four decades, he's been on hand for nearly every home UW Oshkosh game. Now, after 37 years on the job, longtime UWO Sports Information Director Kenan Tim is calling it a career. As he enters retirement, Tim reminisced with me on his time chronicling Titans athletics. You know, because your Saturdays become... Over Saturdays. the last 37 years, no one has seen more UW Oshkosh games than Ken and Tim. Well, oh, probably nearly 300 football games I've attended, probably over... 600 basketball games for both men and women. So it's, it's, it's over a couple thousand for sure. As the school's sports information director, or SID, he's had a front row seat chronicling Titans history as it happens. When Oshkosh hosts a, an event at home, I am usually there keeping statistics or coordinating publicity for that event, writing press releases, writing game recaps. During Tim's tenure, he says the scope of UWO sports has grown exponentially. Pretty much was a, like a four or five sport program. And now through all the years, 37 years later, we have 19 sports and uh, basically all of them are competing at a high level. And, and especially the footballs, the basketballs, as of late, the track and fields. So we've kind of broadened our scope of what we can offer our student athletes and, and basically what we accomplish as a program. Over the years, Tim has covered 35 Titans national championships, but he says a few stand out above the rest. In uh, 1994, when Kathy Bennett was the head coach of women's basketball program, they capped an undefeated season by winning the national title and cost Sports Center in front of 4,000 fans, which was still a record for attendance for that game. I think uh, the national championship game for football in 2016, the Stake Bowl, and obviously the National Basketball Championship that we won in 2019. Division three national champions. He's seen it all. Now as he walks into retirement, Tim says he's confident UWO's future is even brighter than its past. We're in a good position, and we have good coaches on the staff that work hard, recruit hard, um, create that team culture, and it is a family. We've seen that across the board, and, and that's why we've had the success we've had. And, uh, you know, my part in their success is small, but uh, it is something that, uh, with their high energy, wanted me to work extremely hard to be a part of, and I'm glad I did. Tim also spent some time working with the Packers in the 90s and actually worked media relations at the Olympics in 1984 in Los Angeles. He and his wife live in De Pere. He says he hopes to do some work with either St. Norbert's or UWGB, staying busy in retirement. Congrats to Kenan on a great career.